right-of-way rules have been established to aid pilots in avoiding each other visually. These right-of-way rules are found in Part 91 of the Federal Aviation Regulations. Through the use of these rules, pilots can better anticipate each other's actions. When aircraft are converging, the right-of-way is generally given to the least maneuverable aircraft. The aircraft not having the right-of-way is to pass well clear of the aircraft having the right-of-way. First priority goes to an aircraft in distress. An emergency aircraft has the right-of-way over everything else. Next are balloons, followed by gliders. Notice that a glider is more maneuverable than a balloon. It's not practical for a balloon to try to move out of the way. After gliders come aerial refueling and aircraft towing operations, which have the right-of-way over all engine-driven aircraft. Airships are next on the list. Lastly, everything else. Rotorcraft, airplanes, powered parachute, and weight shift control aircraft are all the same right-of-way priority, the lowest. Since these aircraft are the most maneuverable, it makes sense they should give way to the others. If converging aircraft are of the same category, such as two airplanes, then the aircraft on the other's right has the right-of-way. This is similar to how a four-way stop works for drivers in the United States. The person on the right has the right-of-way. An aircraft being overtaken has the right-of-way. The aircraft being overtaken is likely unable to see the faster aircraft approaching from behind. The right-of-way rules require the overtaking aircraft maneuver to the right to avoid the slower aircraft ahead. If two aircraft are approaching head-on, both aircraft should turn right to avoid each other. Finally, while approaching a runway for landing, the aircraft that is lower has the right-of-way. An airplane on approach also has the right-of-way over aircraft or vehicles on the airport surface. The regulations specifically forbid pilots from taking advantage of these right-of-way rules to cut off another aircraft.